My name is Mark Stratton. I am with Stuart Amos Sweeper Company and today I'm going to speak to you about the Galaxy R series. All three models that we have at the moment, they operate exactly the same way. So I'm going to be showing you how to get the best sweeping performance out of this machine. Any of these models. Uh, the primary thing in this machine is because it's a regenerative air sweeper your engine RPM has to be at full throttle to get the best performance out of your blower. It means it's a six cubic yard machine and the regenerative air application of this sweeper you need a blower fan here which creates pressure it sucks the air out of the hopper which creates a negative air pressure in the hopper. The air comes down here into the pickup head, goes across the pickup head in a, a separate chamber and has a blast orifice that blasts the dirt off the pavement and gets it uh, in an airstream. This is the lead door for the air. The regenerative air machine needs to be sucking more air out of the machine, out of the pickup head, than it's putting in. Otherwise, it'll blow dust out from under the pickup head. So, at all times, we want to bleed off about 10% of the air inside the machine. 90% of the air just keeps rotating through the machine and back out. So, to get efficient pickup, what we are going to be doing is adjusting how much this door is open, how much air we're going to be bleeding off, which will change with the type of material that you're going to be picking up. So, in theory, the lighter the material that you're picking up, the more open this door will be. If you get into heavier material, this door needs We'll close it, still bleeding off 10%, but you're putting more air in there to get the heavier material suspended in the air. Now the bleed door at the blower housing is controlled by this lever. Back is closed, forward is open. So as you're driving along sweeping material, and your material is going from gravel to light litter or leaves, you would constantly be adjusting this door for the different types of material that you're picking up. And you can actually see fairly clearly if your door is adjusted incorrectly if it's too much closed, it will start blowing material out from underneath the pickup head. So you just open it up a little bit until the dust stops. And you just work on that edge where it's blowing dust out and not. And that is where you want to keep it. And it's constantly moving. It's constantly changing. So once your sweeper is set up for regular sweeping, and your RPM, your gutter brooms, everything is is set on that end of it that pretty much operates itself and then the operator needs to focus on the type of material that he's sweeping his ground speed and how much air they're putting into the pickup some of the common questions that we're asked is uh, the machine is trailing material out of one side or the other or even in the center of the pickup head and a lot of that is to do with your ground speed how fast you're traveling and the positioning of this uh, bleed door if you have material trailing from the driver's side or the left hand side of the sweeper pickup head then chances are your your door is open too much for the type of material that you're sweeping. 
and on the other side if it's trailing over there then you're putting too much air in the doors too closed you're putting too much air into the pickup head which is blowing the material over to the other side but it's not giving it enough time to suction the the material off the pavement again it's also related to your ground speed your travel speed on occasions you do end up with a situation where the material is trailing from the middle of the pickup head and what causes that is you're putting air pressure in on the left hand side of the machine and you're removing air from the right hand side of the machine so on the left side of the machine or the pickup head you have a positive air pressure on the right hand side of the pickup head you have a negative air pressure so somewhere in between each side of the pickup head you have zero air pressure and it's creating a vortex that moves again depending on the material you're sweeping your ground speed and the positioning of this door you can actually move that from one side of the machine to the other that vortex where it's just instantaneously dropped to zero air pressure and by opening the door slightly we'll move that vortex to the left side and closing it a little bit we'll move it to the right side so it can get vacuumed up on the suction side of the pickup head a lot better so the key things to remember when you're sweeping and get trying to get the most effective sweeping performance out of this machine is keep your engine RPM at full throttle, whether it's light material or heavy material. Keep your engine RPM up. Keep your ground speed down. Ground speed affects the sweeping performance more than you can understand. And work with the bleed door on the fan housing that is your key component the sweeper once it's start, started and set and your brooms are down and your pickup heads down and you're throttled up it'll look after itself that bleed door is the key component bleeding off a little bit of air or a little bit more air and that'll there is no right setting for it because every sweeping job is different every block is different and it's something that you will just get the feel for it as you run the machine um, it's not rocket science we can even get our sales guys to do it sometimes and if you have any questions do not be afraid to call